Hello and welcome to Heavy Metal Rex. My name is Oasis, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about ethanol and the benefits of that particular gas for your car. Guys, if you don't know, I actually have a website, heavymetalrex.com, where you can buy a tons of really cool merch. Also, I have the memberships turned on on this YouTube page, so if you're looking for a way to support the channel, these are two great ways to do so. I get asked the question about ethanol and ethanol blends and all that stuff quite often, so much so that in my last tuner talk, I actually had Graham do an entire section just on ethanol tuning and its effects on the car. And actually, I'll probably throw bits of that in this video as well, so if you haven't seen it, jump over there and check that out for more of a deep dive on there. But today, what I really wanna talk about is the main question I get is, how do you do your blends? How do you even check your ethanol? And you know, is it worth it? Uh, we're just gonna, the TLDR version is, hell yeah, it's worth it. If you have ethanol in your area, I highly suggest picking up a blend tune because you're gonna make a ton more power. And it's easy power. And even if you don't have a whole lot of hard parts, just having an ethanol blend or even just running straight D85 is pretty awesome. Plus. Uh, compared to 93, I definitely get a lot more pops. So if that's something that's uh, your main interest in cars, that's one way to kind of guarantee the car does that. Now, in front of me, I have a couple of things here. Uh, this is actually my ethanol tester. Uh, this is really cheap. You can buy this on Amazon for like 10 bucks. I bought this off Amazon for $10. And what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to the gas station. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this. Uh, basically, you just fill it up with some water, fill it up with some ethanol, shake it, and it'll give you your content. So what I need is I need that. I actually bring my own water, and I have a can. What I like to do is I actually like to pour about a gallon into this, and that's what I pour into my little bottle, and then once I verify it, I'll either use it or I'll just save it for a blend at a later time. Um, now, there are some cons to it. Obviously, like running full E85 will reduce your gas mileage by a decent amount, about 20 to 25% from what I've noticed. And I do drive a lot. I drive about 100 miles uh, pretty frequently a uh, daily basis sometimes, it seems like. And it can be a burden, except if the price of your ethanol, your 85, is below or it's more than 25% cheaper than 93, then it's still worth it for you to continue to use E85 because whatever offset you get in gas mileage, you're actually saving more money with each uh, consecutive fill up of your tank. So that's something you need to look into. Obviously I do a lot of racing and I like to always have the maximum amount of power I would need or I would like to have the maximum amount of power my car makes all the time just in case I meet some friends on the road, you know, just some friendly spirited driving. You know, I don't like to, I don't like to have to say like, oh, if I had my other tune, I would have beat you XYZ. So kind of a selfish reason for me to have it. Uh, currently I am running uh, two different ethanol, uh, tunes, I have D-Man's E85 tune, uh, which I do need to actually go back and, and do another revision with him, especially with the, the fast uh, switching, which I actually still don't have. I still, it still takes me nine minutes to swap my map. And I also have, I believe it's an E40 or an E50 blend from Graham, which him and I were actually gonna re, uh, redo that map soon, also so I can get fast map switching and also a little bit more power on my blend map, which will give you a, a I'd say not a whole lot better gas mileage, but you will get better gas mileage on an ethanol blend tune than you would just running full E85. I think a lot of the tuners have uh, agreed so far that the E50, E60 mark is pretty much where you get maximum power um, out of these cars. But the ease of use of just being able to go to the gas station and put in E85 and just be done with it is uh, something that people want. Uh, with the blend tune, I am actually gonna splice in into this video, a video of me down in my basement showing you guys which websites that I use to kind of calculate my blends. So if you're looking for E30, E40, E50, what's a good website to use? There's a couple of tricks that you need to remember. Um, what I have calculated so far, once the gas tank or once the gas indicator in the car hits like the, the triple dashes, that's pretty much means you're out of gas. However, I have calculated you have somewhere between 1.5 and two gallons still in reserve. So when you're doing your ethanol blends, make sure to take into account the leftover gas that is in the tank. Um, anyway, that's it for here. So we're gonna go down to the gas station and we're gonna go check the ethanol I have and I'll show you guys some blending ideas.
All right, our ethanol is actually 239 a gallon down here, and it is between uh, 53 and, or I think it's like 51 and 83. So I do need to check it, which is one of the reasons why I, I bring all my tools and I check it before I pour it in. Uh, so what I do is just, I get a gallon and I put it into my little container. And then from here, I'm actually going to pop open my, um, my tester tube and I'll put in water up to the fill line. And here you can see is you just, it's all you need. Any kind of water, obviously just fill it up to the water line. Uh, once it's filled up to the water line, after this, you need to fill in, uh, you try to get it as close as possible. It's not going to be perfect, uh, but as you can see, I, I do my best each time with doing this. Now, I didn't want to pour it up top, and also there was like 50 different dudes, and also there was a firefighter over there, so I didn't want him to kind of like look at what I'm doing, because people tend to get a little curious when I'm doing stuff like this at the gas station. So here, I'm actually just going to fill up just a little bit of ethanol on top of the water, and there's actually a gasoline line, which I'll show you here in this next clip. And here again, you try to get it as close as you can. Of course, it's, you know, you're doing this at home, it's never gonna be exactly perfect, but it still gives you a really good idea. And here I am using my scientific method to test exactly how high uh, I've poured it. And now you can see, it's like just a hair underneath the, the gasoline fill line, but it's like pretty close. And what you'll see in these, in these next few clips is you can actually see the gasoline separating from the water. And I, I'm doing the best I can to, to actually show you this because you can actually see it go down in real time. Uh, the next clip, this clip isn't actually that great, but the next clip you'll actually see it come down quite a bit. And it's, it's actually a pretty cool phenomenon. Oh yeah, don't forget, you do have to shake it after you pour all this in there. You can see it's, it's already moved quite a bit. It's actually right underneath the E75, but because the fact that like I didn't fill it all the way, uh, usually this, uh, this station gives me about E70, and that's like pretty close to what, um, what I normally get from here. As you can see, there's a little bit off from the top. All right, so the basement portion of this video is gonna be talking about how to help calculate some of your ethanol needs. So if you're running a blend, E30, E40, E50, what's an easy way to do it? I know Graham said that usually if you're doing like E40, I think it's just like half and a half, or I think E50 is like half and half, but it doesn't hurt to calculate based off the ethanol that you have. Now if you, I'm jumping ahead because I'm actually recording this after, but the ethanol that I found at my gas station was E70. So in this case, let's say I need a particular blend, we'll take the example of E40. There's a couple of websites I use here, morepowertuning.com and uh, getmtune.com, both have really good ethanol uh, calculators on them. Uh, I've been using this one because I, I just like to know the exact uh, I know the exact gallons that we have. I think it's like 16.6. Is this They actually have this on their website. Yeah, 16.6. So I like using uh, more power tuning because I know how many gallons I need to fill based off like where I am in the tank. So let's say your tank is 100% empty. So you need to fill 16.6 .6 gallons and you're looking for E40 and it's going to tell you exactly how many gallons of ethanol you need and how many gallons of gas you need. This is if it's like fully E80, or if it's like actually E85. Now, if you don't know, or sorry, if you've already calculated how much your ethanol is, in my case, E70, here I'm gonna come down and do more math. So for example, this will, you know, if I know if my tank is completely empty, 16.6 .6 is what I need to fill in. But let's say, I mentioned this earlier, let's say you make it just to where like the, the triple dashes come up. Uh, usually that is about 14.5 gallons because there's like two gallons in reserve. And I'd say like 95% of the time I am correct on that. So let's just take that as an assumption that I know that I need a, a total of 14.5 gallons or 14.6 gallons minus a two in reserve. I, I haven't done that. So um, I know that it, you should, most of the time your ethanol is 10, or your 93 is 10% ethanol, so you do also need to make sure your gas station is doing 93 with 10% ethanol. So we'll leave that here, and I need to know, let's see, if I put in 70 right here, 
and how many gallons I put in. Let's say I put in five gallons of E85, which is at 70, and I put five gallons of 93, and I calculate, this will tell me I'm putting in a total of 13 gallons, obviously five plus eight, and this is the mixture that it's gonna be. It's gonna be E33. So from here, I kind of just adjust how many gallons um, I would need. So, I, so obviously I need to increase my ethanol and decrease how many gallons of gas I put in. So let's put that down to uh, six, so let's put that up to seven. That is 14, and that brings up to E42. So you kind of play around with this to see what the best, like what is the best mixture that you can get. It's okay to be, to be a few points higher. It's okay to be a few points below. Just talk to your tuner about it. Like my, both my tunes actually allow for a certain percentage of ethanol to be lower, and the, it will still be okay. Because obviously like, you know, if you your tune is for E60 and you have E65 or E55, it's okay. But if your tune is for E50, E50 or E60 and your ethanol that you put into the car is like E30, that may not be so great. Uh, so these are both, I'll put both of these, um, I'll put both of these down in the description so you guys can use them. If you have any questions, again, just throw them down in the comments. I know it, it seems a little complicated, but this is kind of why most people just throw just E85 tune on there, just so they don't have to do the math. Um, it's, I usually, after I'm, while I'm testing, I'll just pull this up on my phone and just do some quick basic math based off how much gas I have in the tank. And for the most part, it takes like a minute, two minutes to really know. Like here, you know, if I want to keep increasing it, I'll just, you know, minus a gallon from here and add a gallon from here. And, you know, just keep keep adding it. So that's just 14 gallons. It's really not hard. If you have, if you get stuck with this and you still don't know, you are free to just message me on Instagram. I'll be more than happy to help you out. So hopefully this didn't make it more confusing. Um, it's really not that complicated when it comes to doing this. You do it once or twice and you'll figure it out. Most of the time, once you know exactly how much ethanol you need after you do your calculations, you put in your ethanol into your car first. And then after that, you fill in with 93 and hopefully those two numbers, obviously you make sure you look at the pump, that those two numbers actually add up to your original math that you did. That's gonna be the real test is at the end result. I remember when I first did it, the first few times I would kind of mess it up, but you know, I, I didn't really account for the two gallons that are in reserve when I get really low. Obviously, my, the best thing you could really do is try to run your car really low. What I like to do is once the car is completely out of gas and like it hits those triple lines on the dash, what I do is I drive it for another 20 or 25 miles and usually that gets me down to only about a gallon or so uh, left. This way I can fill in uh, E85 and know that I'm just getting a full tank of E85. Now that's only something I do when I've already been running a, a tank of 93 prior, but if you've already coming from another E85 tank, it doesn't really matter. Uh, hopefully this video was informative. Hopefully it actually helps you guys. I try to do my best to show you how I do some of these things and you know, they may not be the best way to do them, but you know, it's a pretty realistic way of doing it. Again, if you have any questions, make sure you drop, uh, put those questions down in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. Again, I do have my Instagram. You are free to message me on there. I, tend to get back to pretty much everybody pretty quick, so don't hesitate. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.